Hey fellow photographer, how's it going? I'm Michael Selbe. Today I will show you how you can use two speed lights in order to turn a tiny white room into something like a huge posh studio for high key photography. Yeah, I will show you a high key lighting setup which you can use for lingerie photos. For instance, uh, our model will be cousin Coco, who will be posing in such a tiny white room and she will be wearing lingerie. Yeah, we'll use our little speed lights yeah, in a way so that it looks like we are bathing Cousin Coco in a whole lot of bright, soft, charming light. It's just wonderful. Yeah, you might have seen some of these uh, shooting scenes in a former video of mine. In that video, I was talking about the uh, Odin radio flash trigger. And yes, you or a lot of you like the Odin radio trigger, but even more of you would lo love to know the uh, actual lighting setup that we use for this shoot. And yeah, so today I will explain the lighting setup. So this video will be yeah, a, a simple high key photography tutorial for speed lights, so to speak. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you yeah, basically how to blow out your highlights in the background. And depending on the style of photos you are shooting, you may or you may not want to blow out the highlights in your background. But in any case, you always need to control it. Yeah, so pay attention and uh, yeah, learn the basics. Our location, as I said, is an ugly, tiny little white room. And this room is basically a shoe cabinet at our home. This is where cousin Emily stores her shoes and she got quite a lot of shoes, but still the room itself is very small. Let's have a look at the details in the lighting setup. The room is 1 meter 80 wide and 2 meter 80 long. Yeah, so that's not very big. Over here at the side, there's one, yeah, white shoe cabinet and we painted the whole room yeah, simply white. Also the ceiling is white. We will place the model somewhere on that side right next to the shoe cabinet and uh, the speed light is uh, behind the model on the standing on the ground and it's firing towards the uh, back, back wall I would say. Another speed light is standing on the shoe cabinet so it's, it's at a height of 1 meter 80 or at a height of 6 feet. It's also firing towards the back side of that room. They are both yeah, dialed back to, um, to, to or zoomed back to 24 millimeters so that light goes everywhere. And they are both speed lights with guide number 58 and they are on one fourth of their power. We could have gotten away with one speed light over here. We just would need to set it to one half of its power and would probably put it onto a light stand so that it shoots into the middle of that back wall. What happens now is light is bouncing off all the walls. That is why the light is so soft. It's coming from everywhere. It's bouncing against the ceiling, against the walls. And there's also quite some light bouncing from this little wall, front wall, back towards the model, into her face and front. But for me, for my taste, this was not enough light. I wanted to have a bit more punch, a bit more, you know, I wanted to have the model a little bit brighter even. That is why I added a third speed light, which is shooting from outside the room into the room towards the model. Yeah, it zoomed to 80 millimeters, a small cone of light directly uh, pointing at the model. We don't need a lot of light. It's uh, dialed back to 1 16th of power. So that is enough. All right, that's already the uh, lighting setup. Probably a little trick um, in the back, on the back door, there's a door knob, which would usually show up in the photograph because it's dark. I did cover it with um, yeah, a little towel, a little white towel, because remember, I wanted to burn out the backdrop or the background anyway, so it wouldn't show in the photo. That's it, easy to do. So I would ask you to find a little white room, clean up your storage room, paint your garage white, set up a white tent in your garden, or just use some bed sheets and some light stand to yeah, build a little white room. It doesn't need to be perfect, just need to be white. Shoot some posh photos, make a model happy, do something for her set card, and shoot some posh photos for your portfolio. In any case, try it out. Give it, give it a try. Let me know how it's working for you. Drop some comments. 
under this video, click the like button, click the plus one button and please, please come back next Thursday for the next episode. Alrighty, like always, I wish you good light. Yeah, man.